Hello and welcome to the 85th episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and we missed last week due to the Veterans Day holiday, so we have some catching up to do. To start, NFL Week 10 was a wild one, and a weird new record was set. The Seattle Seahawks earned a 29-26 win over the Washington Commanders on Sunday with a 43-yard field goal in the final seconds. That kick also marked the fifth game of the day that was decided on a made field goal as time expired, joining the Cleveland Browns over the Baltimore Ravens, the Houston Texans over the Cincinnati Bengals, the Arizona Cardinals over the Atlanta Falcons, and the Detroit Lions over the Los Angeles Chargers. The five games decided by field goal in one day is a new NFL record with the previous record at three. The Browns trailed the Ravens for the entire game until the final field goal. The Texans pulled off an improbable comeback behind star rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. Kyler Murray returned for the Cardinals and led Arizona to victory in the final seconds, and the Lions outlasted the Chargers in a high-scoring 41-38 victory. The Broncos then decided to join the party on Monday night, kicking the game-winning field goal to upset the Bills in one of the wildest and weirdest finishes to a game in recent memory. In a game littered with turnovers by Buffalo, the Bills still managed to be in the lead in the final minutes of the game despite solid play by the Broncos on both sides of the ball. Down 22-21 with no timeouts and 24 seconds left, the Broncos rushed on the field goal unit to take the lead with time expiring. The 41-yard field goal attempt went up, but kicker Will Lutz appeared to have missed wide right. However, a 12 men on the field penalty by the Bills moved the Broncos up five yards and gave them one last chance. Lutz drilled his second attempt, and the Broncos defeated the Bills 24-22. The Bills immediately fired offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey. Denver has now won three straight games, including against the Chiefs and Bills, and four of their last six. They seem to have figured out the defensive issues and have begun to look like a playoff caliber team. On to this upcoming week. In week nine, I went three and one with my picks, bringing me to 22 and 14 on the season. For this week, I'm going with the Dolphins over the Raiders, the Lions to roll over the Bears, the Jaguars over the rival Titans, and the Broncos to keep the streak rolling against the Vikings. Over on the ice, the NHL is back in full swing, and so far, things are looking pretty good for our two Southern California teams. It's a long season, but both the Kings and Ducks look pretty good early. The Ducks are off to a 9-7 start, but have won 7 of their last 10 games and have looked solid in most of their losses. Frank Vitrano leads the team with 11 goals and 16 points, including three multi-goal games, two of which were hat-tricks. A game the Ducks most likely have circled on their calendar comes next Friday the 24th with the freeway rivalry against the Kings. LA is sitting just one spot above the Ducks in their division with an 8-3-3 record. Veterans Adrian Kempe and Anze Kopitar are leading the team in points, and Cam Talbot is holding down the net after the trade of Kings legend Jonathan Quick last season. Talbot has a 7-3 record in net and is allowing just about two goals per game. Be sure to check out this heated matchup next Friday at 1 p.m. With just about three more weeks remaining in the college football regular season, all eyes look towards the AP rankings to see which four schools will enter the playoffs this season. While a lot could happen in the coming weeks, here's the current projections for which schools will compete for a national championship. Teams like Oregon, Washington, Texas, and Alabama are all currently on the outside looking in, but could very easily earn their spots in the playoffs. The most important matchups this weekend will be on Saturday when Georgia heads to Tennessee at 12.30 p.m. on CBS, as well as Washington taking on Oregon State at 4.30 p.m. on ABC. As always, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Sports Corner. We will be off air next Friday due to the Thanksgiving holiday, so be sure to come back the following Friday for more news and updates. I'm Cole Young. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next time.